Lee really changed the comics, and he made them really exciting. Uh, the Marvel Age, like, which is the 1960s, was, you know, was like a golden age for kids. Well, Adam from Stussy told me about the project that he wanted to get a bunch of cartoonists and artists to uh, do their interpretations of Marvel characters. Particularly, I wanted to do uh, the Human Torch's girlfriend, whose name is Crystal. She's one of the Inhumans, and I had the hots for her when I was about 11 years old. I got this whole series of Marvel bubblegum cards when I was, I don't know, in the sixth grade or something, and they formed into a giant Thor drawn by Jack Kirby with that crazy foreshortening, you know? It's just like, oh my God, his fist is this big and his hind leg is this big, and somehow it still makes sense. He really made an incredible world of, of architecture and technology, costumes, thrust, action. Marvel celebrated the fact that all their artists had these quirky, crazy looking styles, and they were all really different. That totally influenced me. So when I got to make my own cartoons, I made sure that if we had artists in the studio that had real unique styles, we took advantage of it. We put those on the screen. Everything that you put on the page or you don't put on the page is trying to tell the story. And with Jack Kirby, like everything is trying to tell you the story at once. It's trying to uh, jump into your brain. My idea with this Thor that I did for the t-shirt, I was imagining maybe a decal on a Thor bicycle from the 70s. What I like about Thor is he gets to throw the hammer and smash people and then it comes back. In my comics, he would be on Mars hanging out with a bunch of punk rockers and digging up cars, fossilized cars in the desert. Here's um, some of my studies of Crystal. And you can see that there's some Kirby elements in there, you know, the weird wiggly line cross-hatching that he used to do. But it's, you know, it's caricature. It's done in a more animated style. I'd rather be consistently entertaining, like Marvel Comics were, than consistently boring. My father ran a dime store, and so I could get comic books when he sold them. Doing a Marvel character was really unusual. I never kind of expected that would happen. It'll be fun if I see it on some kid skateboarding down the street, you know? That'll be, that would be cool.